To use the device, start by opening the Count Pulse app on your phone or tablet. Make sure you have the location and Bluetooth enabled before starting the app. Tap Create New to begin a new study. If you've used the Wake Count before, this will all be very similar. Enter in the name, start, and end dates for your study. Then select the configuration and orientation of your tubes. For more detailed information on different configurations and settings, refer to the manual or go to our help center to find out more. After you've selected the appropriate configuration, enter in the spacing between your tubes. Then confirm the location of your count is correct. On some devices, the location will automatically populate, and on others, you may have to manually enter in the location of your count. Adjust the slider below the map to the posted speed limit of the road. There is also a notes section where you can enter in any notes you'd like to have attached to your study. You will also have the ability to set the visibility of your study on the count hub for private so that only your account can access the study, and public so that anyone can access that data. This can be changed after the study is uploaded in the Count Hub. Once you are satisfied with the information entered, tap Save Study and you will be brought to a review page. If everything is correct, tap Finish Setup and you will be brought to a Study Overview page. To sync the study to the device, press the button on the back of the Count Pulse to activate the Bluetooth signal. Then tap Connect to Device to Sync in the app to bring up the list of available Bluetooth connections and select your Count Pulse. Once the study is paired to the device, you'll be brought back to the Overview page where you'll be able to see a live view of the strikes the device is receiving. Because of delays in the connection, this live view won't show every strike the device is recording, but should be used as a reference that, that the device is recording data. Make sure to disconnect the device before you leave it at your study location. Not disconnecting and just walking away can cause problems when it's time to retrieve your data, so make sure that you disconnect from the device.